Welcome to this month's edition of Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate Show. My name is Wayne Purser. I'm a local realtor with Cowell Banker Bain. We're located in downtown Edmonds, just footsteps from the fountain. This month I have a special guest, Anna Allison with Ozzy Petmobile. We're going to have a segment on the current Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report, and then we'll wrap up with a question from the person on the street. Right now, I'd like to introduce Anna Allison with Ozzy Petmobile and Cosmo. As you hi, can Wayne. Hi there. Uh, as you can see, we're ready for the holidays here. Yes, we are. Super. <laughs> and with, uh, with the holidays coming, whether it be the holidays for animals or moving, being a buyer or seller, how does it affect animals? It's very stressful. Uh, last year, my family moved uh, right at Thanksgiving. And so you're not only dealing with the whole move, but you're dealing with the holidays and how to incorporate all of that. And the, your pets are picking up on all of that anxiety that you're going through. So it's, it's very important to be aware that they're stressed out too. Mm -hmm. And as being a, a, a pet groomer, you can tell if a, uh, if a pet is stressed out. Mm -hmm. So you're able to talk to the people. Yeah, definitely. It's noticeable when we've groomed their pets nine or ten times and then they tell you, oh, we're going on a holiday and you can, the, the pet is just acting a lot different and it's just because they're stressed out and they don't know what's going on. Right, right. And uh, I know you, you purchased a home, a new home a year ago and uh, you had the situation of selling your home. How was it with buyers coming into your home coordinating showings? Oh, I always made sure Cosmo was out of the house for the showing. Um, he would not do well having a stranger in his house without me around. So, um, and I think that's just the safest way to do it for anyone, even if your dog is a lovable, loves everybody type of personality. You don't know how they'll be when a stranger comes into their home that they are there to protect without you around. So. Right, so either you or a friend would come. Mm -hmm. I know that in past, I've actually had to take a, a client's uh, Siberian Husky for a walk mm -hmm. as someone came in to, to see yeah. their home. So uh, yeah, it is uh, making sure the pet's comfortable. Um, so on moving, how was moving day and packing up? It was uh, very busy and so I, I had a friend who just helped take Cosmo and make sure that he got his walks and went outside and had some time away from all of the hustle and bustle mm -hmm. of the move and coordinating all of that. Yep, and then yeah. getting him to his new home. Yep. Which yeah. Which he loves now, but <laughs> that day was a bit much right, for everyone. Right, so. right. Okay, so um, in closing for our, our clients or our, our listeners here, uh, top two things that you would recommend? Uh, be very mindful that your, your dog is going, or cats even, are going through a stressful period um, that you are too, and be aware that they may not be acting as normal and don't expect them to act normal. And secondly, you know, enlist some friends and family to help you care for your pet while you're doing the move and um, make sure that you can try to keep their routines as normal as possible and that'll help keep them calmer. All right, super. Thank you for being our special guest, Cosmos. Yeah. You did great. Mm -hmm. uh, that wraps up our special uh, guest, Anna Allison with Ozzy Petmobile and Cosmo. And we're going to go on to our Spotlight on Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. Welcome back to the segment of Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. As of the end of October of 2015, in the 020 Edmonds area, 98020 zip code, there were 20 sales for the month of October, 47 current listings uh, as of today, and 37 pending sales. Interest rates throughout are still, are still flat, uh, no movement yet. And we have a temperature of about 76 degrees. That means about just over two and a half months, uh, right around two and a half months of inventory, current inventory. In the Edmonds 026 zip code, 53 sales, 112 current listings, and 63 pending sales for a weather temperature of 78 degrees, just over the two month mark on that. South Snohomish County, Linwood, Briar, Mount Lake Terrace, Muckleteal, Mill Creek, and also parts of Everett, we have 365 sales for the month of October, 652 listings, 458 pending sales for a weather report of 82 degrees, so less than two months of inventory. Shoreline has not changed, 64 sales, 45 current listings, and 93 pending sales 
gives us over 100 degrees. It is just still hot in shoreline because people are moving up from Seattle with lots of multiple offers. Overall, um, if the house is priced correctly, it will sell well. What we're running into with more and more inventory, there's plenty of buyers, but just that sellers are thinking that their home is worth more, so it's sitting on the market a little bit longer. Um, as we move into uh, fall, Christmas time, people across the country are beginning to think about what their life will look like next year. It happens every fall. We ponder whether we should relocate to a different part of the country to find better year-round weather or perhaps move across the state for better job opportunities. Homeowners in this situation must consider whether they should sell their home now or wait. If you are one of these potential sellers, here are five important reasons to do it now versus the dead of winter. Demand is strong. There is less competition now. The process will be quicker. There will never be a better time to move up. It's time to move on with your life. That is what is truly important. Now that concludes our Spotlight on Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report and now we'll move on to question from the person on the street. Wayne, I heard that the Federal Reserve is thinking about raising interest rates. Is now a good time to purchase a house? That's a great question regarding the Federal Reserves. I believe this month they will be going up in interest rates. Not, not a lot. Uh, buyers have taken advantage of the low interest rate for years and they're still going to be taking advantage of it. So if you want to save a little bit on a mortgage payment, move sooner than later. But in my 20s I was told, Wayne, if you're going to buy or instead of renting, even if interest rates are up to 10%, it's still better to buy than it is to rent. So you've got lots of room or going to be right around 5%. Uh, it's still a great time to buy. That wraps up this edition of Spotlight Edmonds Real Estate. I look forward to seeing you next time.